Dang Cooking, where you see cooking from my point of view, and today we've got a special unboxing video. I've talked about in videos how my family really loves pizza. I uh, did share one video where I make a semolina pizza crust. We tend to eat a lot of pizza. So I was looking at pizza ovens. You know, when you're when you're into pizza or you're into Italian cooking, you have delusions of grandeur like, oh my gosh, I need a wood-fired oven. I need this great big oven. Well, you don't really need one. You think you do. I, I, I would love to have a big wood-fired oven, but, you know, the more I read about it, you know, it's really, you really got to, it takes a lot of work to understand how to use that, to stack it right, to, you know, to heat it up. And, you know, it's not something I really need. It's something I want. So I started looking at other alternatives and one that caught my eye and I did a lot of reading about was the Rock Box uh, Portable Oven. And for me, when I was looking at ovens, I wanted one that got up to that 900 degree uh, temperature that seems to be so key when you're looking at wood-fired ovens and the rock box claims it can do that um, but i just want to go i just wanted to uh, do a little unboxing video to share with you in case you're thinking about a, an oven or you're thinking about the rock box oven just so you can kind of see what's in the box uh, i am going to do another video where we make some pizzas we make some other stuff but today we're just going to focus on the unboxing so let me grab i'm excited i can't wait to use this I wish I had time to use it today. I just got home from work and don't really have time to use it. But by gosh, I've got time to get my new toy out of the box. If not, we'll make time. I did order, I'm a gadget guy. I love gadgets, cooking gadgets. So I wanted the turning peel. Because I watched a few videos online of folks that, you know, they use the peel that came with it, pull the pizza out, spin it around. But I wanted the turning peel, so I also ordered that. Um, don't really need this, but I wanted to, I wanted to play with another toy. Now the rock box, this thing weighs like 65 pounds all packaged together. Um, so I'm sure the uh, UPS guy really uh, appreciated uh, ruining his back early in the morning. So let's go ahead, pop the top off this bad boy, and see what goodies are inside. It's his home. So I got the box out of the box. Now let's see what's in the box that was in the box. Eh, if I can get it open, so far it's kicking my tail. I like the way it's packaged. There's the picture of my new toy. All right, so let's see. Very first thing we have in the box is the peel. Now they talk a lot about the peel. They've got all these specs about this peel, about how it's got holes for the flour to fall through so when you put the pizza in the oven you don't get any bitterness of a burnt loose flour and it's non-stick and but it's a peel and it works nice short handle I like the way it's it it, it does have a raised area so we'll see i like it i like it a lot all right so now more styrofoam throw all that stuff outside okay now the eating elements this is the wood burner that mounts on the bottom. It says hot, but I don't think it is. Um, drop your wood in there. This kind of mounts on the bottom. I don't know that I'll use this a lot. Um, won't throw it away, because again, it's a gadget. And I'm a gadget guy. The one that I'll be using a lot is the propane burner. More styrofoam. Okay. Oh, it's the fun toy itself. Now I'm going to set this box on the floor as I get out the oven. Okay. That's heavy. So I'm going to spin this around. Spin it around. Give myself a hernia. What a nice piece of protective paper that I'm sure provides little or no protection. I went with the gray one. They've got the gray and then they have this annoying green color that I don't really care for. The gray, they say this does not get hot to the touch on top. I'm sure around the metal, of course, being a conductive metal, it's going to get hot. You got this nice fancy little carrying strap. So that way uh, 
you know, while you're giving yourself a hernia carrying this, you can do so, you know, very efficiently and, and easily. It does have the pizza stone. Ooh, there's my toy in here. What's this? It's a the user manual, and that's a thick user manual. Let's play. Let's see. Eh. Well, I'll tell you what, that's got good Velcro on the carrying strap. Let's see how hard it is to put the legs up on this beast. I'm going to kind of roll it to its side. You can see here, the strap kind of goes up under the legs. Legs fold out like so, and then they fold out again. I'm not going to fold them out the second time. Let's go ahead. You can see here, this is where your, um, I'm going to grab the wooden one because it, the wood firebox. This is where you mount the burners. So it kind of goes in these little tabs and then twist on. Of course, laying on its side, it's a little harder to do. It's, you know, getting everything lined up. And I'm sure you got to really torque and twist on this to get it on. There we go. And you can see you have to fold those legs down a second time to be below the firebox. So this little beast is going to be a lot of fun to use. I'm trying not to scratch my countertop too. Yeah. Tell you that thing is not a lightweight little oven. I like that. When I feel that weight, to me that weight means that it's well built, that it's well insulated, that it'll hold that heat which is important. Um, they say it takes about 15, 20 minutes to warm up and the recovery time in between pizzas is supposed to be very, very short. The, it's got a rolling flame. Just search for Rockbox on YouTube and they have some really good videos from Rockbox from a lot of cooks and now you're gonna see some from me as I use my new toy. So we'll see when I use this. I've not read a one complaint about this. I've read uh, uh, one gentleman shared that he kind of works at festivals. He has two rock boxes. He's done like 20,000 pizzas between the two. Never had a problem. So I'm really looking forward to using this bad boy. I can't wait to play with my new toy. And if it weren't rainy outside and it weren't 5.40 in the evening, and if I had some dough, well, then we'd be using it, but we don't. So I just wanted to get it out of the box. I wanted to share with you uh, the new toy, and you're definitely going to see this in a few upcoming videos from POV Italian Cooking. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched, if you didn't watch, well, you know, you missed. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, LinkedIn, if it's a social media platform, I'm on it. Follow me, like me, whatever. Just stay in touch. Send me an email at povitalian at gmail.com. If there's something you'd like to see special with this uh, um, rock box, if you'd like to see a certain recipe, let me know. I'd be happy to make it on video. Um, but most importantly, I want you to click that subscribe button in YouTube and ring the bell so you never miss an episode of POV Italian Cooking. Also, if you're at home set in front of your TV, you have a Roku device, log into your Roku right now, fire it up, search for the POV Italian Cooking channel and download that channel. Watch some of my videos there as well. And we'll see you next time. You see the rock box, we're gonna be making some pies. Ciao.